Hi, I'm going to show you how to install Coder OSS on a MacBook Pro. This will be entirely self-contained, so we're going to leverage Docker Desktop as the compute to run the workspaces. So on the right side is the Coder online documentation. I'll go to the installation section and grab this curl command. Top left, I'll paste it in. Install Coder. And it's installed. And we're going to start the Coder server. And we're going to use a built in Postgres DB to store all the metadata, like workspace names, usernames, and the like. On the lower left, we're going to log into this Coder deployment, which, as you can see, is running on 127.0.0.1.4.3000. So, Coder login. For 3000. And it's going to ask me if you want to create our first user. We'll say yes. Put the username. We're going to call this admin email address admin at coder.com and a password. At this point, we're now in the coder. So the next command is we're going to create a template. A template is a Terraform file that's the basis for how we're going to build this workspace. So we have samples that are built in. So you just type in coder, templates, init. And as I mentioned, everything is self-contained in this demo on Docker. So we're going to choose this one that says uh, develop code server in Docker. If you're not familiar with code server, it's an open source project built by Coder. It runs the VS Code IDE in a browser. So it's going to create a local directory. If I do ls, you'll see Docker code server. I'm going to cd uh, into that. You'll see we have two files, um, well, three in this case, but we have the main TF file, which is the actual Terraform script. So let's go into VS Code so I can walk you through what's in a typical template. This is local VS Code. I'm in the Terraform template. What's very powerful is you can use Terraform providers to integrate with other forms of your infrastructure. So you'll see we have one provider for Docker and one for Coder. And down below, uh, we have this Coder app resource, which is part of our Coder provider. This is what services an icon to launch the VS Code IDE. And we will tell it uh, what port to use and what, what icon to show. And then under the... Docker container resource. This is where you specify what image to use to be the basis for this. We have one hosted on Docker Hub called Coder.com Code Server. So this has the Code Server VS Code IDE built into that image. So let's move this out of the way. And we're going to use the command coder templates create and call this template a name dash y so we're not prompted for any questions. Okay, now we're going to create the Coder workspace. So you can do it in two ways. You can do it in the UI, which I will do, or you can do it on the left, bottom left, using the CLI, using the Coder create command. So you just give it a name, like I could call it Code Server VS Code. You point it to the template to use the base to workspace on, and you can even pass this optional parameter to tell when the workspace to stop. Let's instead log into Coder in the UI, and We'll go to the templates tab and we should see the one template for Docker Coder Cert. You'll see every template has a uh, markdown readme file that you can create that tells software developers what's in that template. And there's a create workspace icon on the top right. We'll use that same name I was going to use in the CLI. So we're going to call this Code Server VS Code. Okay, so we saw that the workspace built, it shows, it will always show a terminal icon to let you get to a terminal for the workspace. But you'll notice if you had a coder app resource specified in that Terraform file, it'll surface that icon, in this case, code server. I wanna point out everything was self-contained. So let me bring over a Docker desktop and you can see the actual uh, workspace running as a Docker container. So let's open VS Code, which is Code Server, and you should see that pull up. First time in, ask a few questions, and boom, we're into the workspace.
Hope you found this demo helpful.